Stan Slap, Bury My Heart at Conference Room B, What Truly Drives the World's Most Passionate Managers. Discover how to channel your emotional commitment into your work as a manager with the summary of Bury My Heart at Conference Room B by Stan Slap. The book bridges the gap between personal values and corporate expectations, emphasizing the importance of living those values at work to achieve success and fulfillment. Delve into inspiring stories of companies like SAS, which thrived by permitting managers and employees to express their values, and learn how you can unveil your core principles and implement them within your professional environment. Find out how living by your values can inspire those around you and drive your team to achieve exceptional performance. The Power of Emotional Commitment A company's greatest asset is the emotional commitment of its managers. This type of commitment translates into personal crusades for success and occurs when managers can live out their deepest values at work. However, companies often hinder this type of commitment. The book offers a well-proven process that helps companies gain unparalleled performance and reliable security and gives managers fulfillment while staying true to their values at work. This problem can be overcome practically, relentlessly, and persuasively by using this unique process. The Emotional Cost of Detached Managers Managers who detach from their work suffer and jeopardize their performance, productivity, and emotional well-being. This emotional divide creates two separate selves, affecting both work and private life. According to research, emotional commitment triggers more benefits than financial, intellectual, or physical investment combined. The impact on managers' lives is profound, considering the significant amount of time they dedicate to work-related activities. Despite spending over 50 hours on the job, managers still feel detached, leading to psychological distress. Emotionally committed managers outperform those who detach, emphasizing the importance of emotional investment in work. Liberating Employee Engagement Many companies desire blind loyalty from their employees, yet they hinder its cultivation. The reason is they fear losing control, leaving little room for individual values or a values-based culture. This often leads to managers suppressing their own values, becoming emotionally detached. The solution lies in companies allowing employees to connect their deepest psychological drives and unconscious desires to their jobs while permitting managers to live by their personal codes at work. However, corporations are generally reluctant to do so due to fear of loss of control. It's time to liberate employee engagement. The Power of Emotional Commitment Corporate leaders who believe controlling and granting freedom to their managers is the key to business success miss a vital point. Managers already have the freedom to disengage emotionally from their work, and they often do. The true power of a manager is in their emotional commitment, which triggers discretionary effort far beyond the financial, intellectual, and physical commitments combined. Many managers may perform well financially, but that doesn't guarantee emotional engagement. The real value lies in their emotional devotion and dedication to the company, which can drive superior results. Living by your values Managers must take the time to identify their personal values, which necessitates taking a slow and steady approach. Adopting a set of values belonging to someone else is futile. Encouraging staff members to live their values is essential, but leaders must first commit to doing so themselves. This commitment is critical to building emotional commitment to jobs and achieving personal satisfaction at work. Publicly living one's values can lead to unique opportunities and generate a legend that confirms the importance of tying personal values to work and life. The Power of Personal Transformation for Effective Leadership Effective leaders align their personal values with their company's purpose to achieve peak performance and growth. This personal transformation can be challenging, but it is essential for managers to become genuine leaders. Corporate leaders must allow their managers to live their values to improve their performance. Poor manager behaviors, not poor performance, can harm companies. Managers need to balance their loyalty to the company with their moral values and align them within the organization. This alignment can lead to a major transition, which many companies seek in their leaders. 
However, managers may face initial resistance from their superiors if they fear the disruption of the established order. In sum, managers must be true to themselves to become effective leaders who can inspire and motivate their employees to achieve superior performance and higher profits. Live Your Values To live a fulfilling life and succeed as a manager, you must identify your core values and apply them at work. Start by understanding your values and choosing the top three that define you as a person. Sell these values to yourself, your family, and your employees, using the emotions and benefits they represent. Turn these values into a promise of better working conditions and measurable business metrics for your company. Ultimately, commit to living your values at work to achieve both personal fulfillment and professional success. Remember, your life is precious, and only you can decide how to live it. Be human first. The book stresses the importance of being human first before being a manager to ensure a healthy work environment. This not only benefits the employees but also the customers, the world, and one's own family. The book emphasizes that people trust people, not companies, and being a humane manager can make a positive impact on everyone's lives. Living Your Values SAS is a software and business intelligence firm that has achieved remarkable success with over $2 billion in annual sales. The company's unique approach to management has resulted in a minuscule 4% turnover rate among its managers, setting an example of a firm that allows employees to live their values. SAS regards its people as responsible adults and offers managers the freedom to manage their days as they see fit, as long as they meet their work goals. Rhino, a music company, gained its success by following a similar approach. Its employees found emotional engagement in the music they offered and worked hard to share their emotional commitment. Both SAS and Rhino provide a shining example of how living your values in the workplace leads to exceptional success. In conclusion, Bury My Heart at Conference Room B presents a compelling argument for the significance of emotional commitment, personal values, and their impact on managerial success. Implementing these values within the workplace fosters a thriving and emotionally engaged environment that benefits both companies and employees. Managers who recognize their personal values and adopt them on the job experience transformative growth, resonating with their staff and eventually leading to peak performance. By understanding the importance of living your values at work, you can inspire your team, boost productivity, and ultimately, achieve greater fulfillment as an individual and a professional.